are you? Uh, hi, I'm Robin. I'm Darlene's friend. <laughs> no, really, who are you? <laughs> That's Mark, my adopted son. It didn't work out. He's going back in the morning. <laughs> you know, Robin, now that you're here, I should let you know that I'm going to be a little bit late for work tomorrow. Um, my baby has her one-year checkup. Okay. No problem. <laughs> See that? No problem. Just don't be too late. I don't want to have to write you up a third time. Third? I only have one. Huh. Sometimes my phone doesn't send things. Oh, there it is in the outbox. I wouldn't bother. That sounds like spam. <laughs> you wrote me up for video chatting with my baby too much? It's only a few minutes here and there because I miss my kid. Well, I get a live stream of my French bulldoodle from doggy daycare. Becky, you don't see me constantly checking in on her. Because it's a dog. <laughs> well, oh, let's not value one life over another. All God's creatures or blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Why don't we talk about this tomorrow at work? Fine. Thank you. And it wasn't just here or there. It was 45 minutes altogether. <laughs> These fish sticks are delicious. OK, I am not sitting here and getting sniped at in my own kitchen. I'm going to eat down in the basement with my daughter, who I'm going to spend time with so she doesn't forget about me when I don't contact her for nine hours during the day. Well, if you wanted to remember you, maybe you shouldn't keep your baby in the basement. FYI, we live in the basement. And we have a bathroom down there now. <laughs> Don't say anything at work. I don't want anyone hitting me up for money. Hey, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at supper? Yeah, I just uh, wanted to come by and check up on you. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I didn't really want to be around anybody. I'm sorry about your brother. Not sorry enough. OK, well, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Not going yet. I wanted to tell you a little bit about the guy you screamed at today. You see, Neville was a sweet, sensitive, puny little kid with spindly legs. The doctor told him he would never walk without crutches. But he was determined to be on the track team. And, and you know what? He never gave up, and he made it. Save it, sister. I know the ending. He became a track star. No. <laughs> Have you ever seen a track meet? You need regular legs. <laughs> The coaches would turn off the lights and go home before he finished a race. The point is, he is never going to give up pursuing you. Well, duh. I've been telling him to go away ever since I met him. I, why do you keep harassing me? Because I, I don't want him to waste his time when he could be with someone who loves him. So tell him. I threw a giraffe at him, and I think he took it as flirting. <laughs> Look, you just have to lie. Tell him there's another guy. Tell him that you're dying, or, or that you're a lesbian. Ugh. That you're a dying lesbian. <laughs> Anything to stop him. OK, fine, I'll do it. I don't know if it's going to stop him. He's like a zombie stalker. Put a bullet in his head, and he's like, let's go get coffee. <laughs> Why am I supposed to help you? You made a huge scene last night and totally embarrassed me. And what's with bragging about your basement bathroom? That's just weird. <laughs> it wasn't just my fault. Robin's got it out for me. She likes you. Just get her to take one of the write-ups off my record. I can't afford to lose a shift. Becky, I've only known this woman for a day. I can't start telling her how to do her job. Here she is. Come on. I need to be able to see Beverly Rose during the day. Do this for me and do it for Beverly Rose. I love you, Darlene. <laughs> OK, all right, fine. I'll talk to Robin. But God, what is wrong with you? How can you say I love you to your sister? Who does that? <laughs> hey, it was great having you over for dinner. Sorry about the food. Sorry about the conversation. Sorry about the family. You have nothing to be sorry about. I had a very nice time, and the food was just fine. Where'd you hit on the way home? I had a hot dog from the grill at the gas station. <laughs> Yeah, we all did that after Thanksgiving last year. <laughs> so, look, um, I really don't want to overstep, but Becky is kind of having a tough time adjusting to not seeing her kid all day. Could you consider cutting her a little slack right now? I could do that. Or, as your mentor, I could give you your first test. I'm going to let you make the call on your sister. 
Now, you know how her screen time affects her productivity. What would you do? Uh -huh. Is putting off the decision until you offer me an actual promotion a viable answer? <laughs> Look, if you're going to be in management, you can't show favor. Everybody gets treated the same. Unless your name is Wellman. Then you get to get coked out of your mind and have the conveyor belt take you all over the building naked. Did they do that? I signed a document that says they don't. Doctor, there's someone here to see you. It's Jackie Harris. Oh, really? Send her in. Oh, good lord! <laughs> you could have said, I'm up to my elbows in horse. <laughs> no, it's a minor operation. I'm taking a fatty mass off this gal's liver. Too many hamburgers and beer. You never really think about that when you see a horse sitting in an Applebee's. <laughs> hey, I'm really glad you're here. Yeah, that's what I uh, wanted to talk to you about. Uh, here's the thing. I haven't been completely honest with you. An old boyfriend has come back into my life and... Uh, I'm dying, and um, it's all complicated by the fact that I'm a lesbian. Good for you. My assistant is at her son's piano recital. Could you please hold the rib spreader? If you hear cracking, you're spreading them too far. Well, shouldn't I have some sort of license for that or training? <laughs> yeah, you'd think. <laughs> hey, could you pass me a roll of gosh? Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, I didn't realize you were a surgeon. It's really impressive. Oh. It is kind of the glamour end of the business. <laughs> now, take this tumor and put it in the bucket, will you? Oh. <laughs> oh, do they often need a bucket, or would you consider this a big one? <laughs> oh, the reason I said all that BS about the boyfriend and being a lesbian is because I was just trying to take one last shot to stop you from chasing me. I've told you a hundred times. I'm a disaster. Why do you still want me? Because you're an amazing person and you deserve someone who's crazy about you. Look, you have to really listen to me this time. The last thing I need right now is a boyfriend. but I could use a nice friend. I would be honored to be your friend. Good. Can I agree to be your friend, but secretly adore you and want more? <sighs> well, <laughs> what you do on your own time, that's your business. <laughs> I am really pissed. Why? Not only did Robin not take the second write-up off, she gave me a third one and they docked my pay. You never talked to her, did you? Like, if you don't want to keep getting in trouble, then just call Beverly Rose on your break or at lunch. End of problems. I'll just talk to Robin myself. Wait. Robin didn't do this. I did. What? She wanted to see if I was management material and if I could make an objective decision based on the facts. So you sold me out just to prove you could be a manager? No. I didn't sell you out. Your productivity is down. You're spending almost 45 minutes a day on your phone during work time. And the rest of the time, I work my ass off. I can't believe you did this. Look, they wanted to take away a whole shift from you. Because of me, they only docked your pay. Only? I need that money. You were depressed you even had to take that job, and I got you through it. No matter how bad it's got, our family has always stuck together. And now you're screwing me over to get ahead. Oh, no. Don't try to turn this around, Becky. I made the right decision, all right? You're putting your bad behavior above me getting a chance to do something better for my family. Bad behavior? I was being a mom. You're just jealous I have a baby I get to see. Wow. Screw you. Screw you. You screwed me first. You're not my sister. That's fine. I don't need you. I certainly don't need you. Well, fall off a cliff and die. Stand under me. <laughs> Whoa. There is a lot of drama around here. I think it's you. Before you got here, everything was pretty quiet. <laughs>